subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. We all love a surprise. Today on Lady Mary Beth, I will unveil two mystery boxes that showed up at my doorstep. I'll tell you all about it, and we'll open these and discover the treasures that await. A friend reached out last week to see if I might be interested in a milk glass creamer that she had looking to clean out her china cabinet. And then while I was setting up a charity event, I had a message from her that she left a surprise at my door. So when I arrived home late at night, I found these two boxes at my doorstep and could not believe it. I expected a small bag with a pretty little milk glass creamer. And I opened one box, found a treasure and thought, you know, I'm going to close the box and we will discover these items together. So I have a feeling that they're all pretties for the table. She knows that I enjoy entertaining. So let's take a look inside. It was so nice that my friend thought of me. This is better than thrift shopping or Goodwilling. It showed up at the door. So let's open up the big box first. And I see lots of wrapping paper and grocery bags. So let's pull this out. Oh, this is lovely. Look at that. I like the design. And this looks like it might be a set of some Asian dishes. So let me open up some more. And it could be that not everything is together. This looks interesting. I'm thinking that might be a covered butter dish. We'll just have to put everything together once we see what goes with a pattern or a collection. It looks like a punch cup or that could go with a sandwich set. And this must be the top of our cheese dome. Isn't that lovely? We'll put that right here. I love a good mystery. And even if the pieces are not all complete, we can still have fun with it and do some interesting things. Look at that. That could be great for a cake, serve as a base for something. Oh, we've got dishes too. Oh, isn't that nice? You could put cookies on that. Love it. Let's see, I hear lots of clanging. Oh, the ruby glass is so pretty. My mother had a collection that her friends had given her years ago, and unfortunately that was not saved when my father had the estate sale. So I'm really glad to have some ruby glass. I see more ruby glass. I'm so excited. Oh, look, these are sherbets. I can't wait. I can already see the table set with these oh, in bowls. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. I like red because it goes with many different holidays from Christmas, Valentine's, July 4th to even every day. Oh, this is going to be a fabulous table. And then these are smaller bowls. I'm loving the variety. And keep in mind, you don't have to have a whole set of everything. You can mix and match with other colors. So let's see what else we've got. This looks like maybe a teapot. I want to be careful to not miss any parts or pieces. Oh, isn't that lovely? Look at the flowers. This is so nice. I don't see a mark on it. I love the shade of green. My daughter would absolutely adore this teapot. And I think there's probably a lid somewhere. And if not, we can turn this into a vase and make it something fun. So let me keep carefully unwrapping. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Here's a very small package. Let's see what this is. That's the saucer that goes with the clear cup. Isn't that fun? So you could mix that with a ruby red, even if I only have a few pieces of each and it would look great on a table. Just have maybe one pattern that unifies it. Have maybe a dinner plate underneath to serve as a charger. Oh, here's a lid. Isn't that pretty? We'll see what this goes with. The element of surprise. Oh, look at 
look at this press glass sugar bowl. I like sugar bowls because there's so much possibility. You could use it, of course, for cinnamon and sugar. You could put candies in it. Even use it for flowers on the table. Float a candle in it. Love it. We're just gonna keep unpacking. And I wanna be so careful in case there is the lid to the teapot. So I don't wanna toss anything on the floor until I know that it's empty. And here's another teacup in the clear. I'm excited about that sugar bowl. Oh, look, this is a compote and it's even etched. So pretty, there must be a lid inside. So I will just keep unpacking. It's even pretty on the cake plate. Very nice. Wonder if she was cleaning out her cabinet or if she inherited these items. Ah, a square bowl, pressed glass, very nice. I could see strawberries in this. So many possibilities. Can't wait to have more fun with this and actually use these on a table. Let's see, this might be another cup. This is another clear cup. So there must be some saucers. And here's a big platter. Isn't that pretty? And I'm trying to see if it's McCoy. I can't read that. That's beautiful, an aqua color base. It even looks good with the red. Hmm. I'm getting some ideas here. It's overwhelming. There's just so much in here. Let's see what this is. Oh, exquisite creamer. I've never seen this one before. Look at the shape of it. It's exquisite. Mm, syrup in the morning. Be nice to put on the brunch table. Okay. This is interesting. I don't exactly know what it is. It's got a cow pattern inside. Maybe this is for stamping butter. Maybe. Look at that with the cow. I'm gonna have to do some research. That looks really interesting. First I thought it was a bell. Okay. It's like Christmas. I think this is another cup, another clear cup. So now we've got four cups and there might be some saucers in here. Oh, that creamer is so nice. Really excited about that. <gasps> There's the matching sugar bowl. Do you suppose that this is the lid? Yes, indeed. Okay, let me find the creamer. Exquisite. Oh, it's so fancy, I love it. Oh yes, I think I need to set a nice breakfast table for my family tomorrow. I'm hoping for some lids. There are a few more items left in the box. And even without the lids, we can make something wonderful and put it to good use. This might be a lid for the compote. Let's see if it fits. And it does beautifully. Isn't that a nice piece? It looks so regal. Mm. You could even tie a ribbon around it. I like it just in the middle of that cake stand or the cake plate. Okay, this looks like Thanksgiving. <laughs> Look at that, isn't that neat? Wonder if it's Fitz and Floyd. I don't see that it is, but I will do some research. Isn't that a neat piece? You could put anything in that or maybe a couple of flowers or let it stand alone. You could even put your cutlery here if you're having a buffet, put your maybe dessert forks or rolls if you have a small gathering. Perfect timing for Thanksgiving. All right, this is so much better than going out antique shopping or thrift storing. Oh, look at this with the daisies. That's lovely. This is technically a celery dish, but of course you could use it for crackers, for anything really on a table or fill it with candies. Quite nice. Okay, I think we're just about done with this box and then we have the other one to go through. I see a couple more items. That's a lovely floral bowl and it has a mark on the bottom. I'll have to look at that carefully. So pretty. I'm running out of space here. And that might be part of a set. Let's see. Oh, here's another pretty one. It looks like it's called Chippendale from Montgomery Ward. How about that? My parents used to own a Montgomery Ward store. Beautiful. 
So we'll just put that together with the other one for now. I like odd bowls because you can use that for serving, especially if you have a neutral color uh, china pattern or everyday dishes. And you add a couple of floral elements and it adds interest. So now we have a companion bowl, the Montgomery Ward Chippendale pattern. I did not know that they made china. Box number one was so much fun. This is actually a California wear pottery piece. I like the aqua color. That's a nice surprise. You could do so much with that. And this looks like Fitz and Floyd. I'm not sure if it is, but it's a great turkey dish. You could use for decor or you could place something in it on the Thanksgiving table. And the teapot is quite nice. I didn't find a teapot lid inside box number one. Maybe it's in the second one. If not, that's quite all right. This could be used for dessert spoons or something interesting. Maybe place some flowers on it on a tea table. My daughter loves tea and the color green. This is made in Japan. Looks very old. And one of my favorite items, the sugar and creamer set in pressed glass with the sugar lid. Love the shape of it, very delicate, fine quality, and I cannot wait to set a tea table with this. And of course that could be used for syrup or other purposes. And a really versatile item is the covered compote or candy dish. That's a great piece. And it goes really well with a pressed glass platter. It fits so nicely in the middle, almost as if it were designed for it. And you could put a dip in the middle with fruit around it or vegetables. I think it opens up many possibilities. And how nice that my friend has gifted me with all of these nice surprises. Now let's open the second box and see what's inside. <gasps> I see a cake stand. This is beautiful. Look at that press glass cake stand. It, it's nice and large. That would fit a 10 inch cake with still lots of rim space. <gasps> Love it. This is the find today. I'm so pleased. I'm surprised my friend gave that up. It's quite nice. Oh, look at this. It's a tiered server with a rose design. It looks to be porcelain. And it's, I need my glasses. It says rose made in the Czech Republic. I'll have to look at the exact mark, but there was a sticker that said Czech Republic. This looks rather old and loved. I'll have to clean this up and I can incorporate that into my tea table. Such a nice surprise. Okay, let's see what else. I wanna be so careful to not throw anything away. The pink milk glass. This is one of the things she sent a picture of. It was a small white milk glass creamer and then this pink triangular shaped dish that's I think called a nappy. Okay, let's dig a little deeper. Let's see a few more items wrapped up. This might be another sugar bowl. Oh, this is the milk glass little creamer. Okay, that's what I was expecting to find at my door, not these two big boxes. Oh, this is lovely. You can never have too many creamers and I love milk glass. Okay, and now these feel like goblets maybe. Let's see, they're wrapped very well. Oh, look at the color and the square base. Oh, these are fabulous. I see a couple more wrapped items that look like this shape. So hopefully I'll get maybe a set of three or four. Love this color, so fun. Okay, I think that's what's in here too. Okay, so now we at least have a pair and Maybe three. Oh, that's gonna look so nice on a table. Or you could even set three down the middle of a long table and put flowers or candles in it to create something uniform. Oh, just maybe I have a set of four. Oh yes, okay, I'm good. Now I can set a table for my family. These are really special. Okay, now we have a few flat items. Here is a glass cake plate. Looks like maybe, or an individual salad plate. It looks like that would go with the earlier um, teacup and saucer set in the clear glass. And another one. Of course, those are also good. You could put cookies on and bring to a neighbor and you don't have to get the plate back. So it's nice to have these on hand. And I see a couple more items at the bottom. Like, let's see, I'm thinking that's an 
Okay, that's a deviled egg tray. How about that? That's pressed glass. That's really, really nice. And I need to come up with some uses for a platter like this that don't involve the deviled eggs if you're not serving that. I'm thinking even if you had an activity for kids where you were putting some beads or some different items they can glue on a project, that that might be nice to use as a divider. And then we've got one more plate that looks like an Arco brand, A-R-C-O, that's great for just about anything. Well, I've really enjoyed uncovering all these surprises from my friend. Didn't expect it and let me find my favorites and I'm thinking I could even set a quick little table, so just give me a second. I've selected some of my favorite items from the two mystery boxes, and I will show you how I plan to incorporate these into my entertaining. This beautiful shade of blue goblet with a square base will add interest to my dinner table, love it. And these clear pressed glass dishes are nice for maybe shredded cheese for serving baked potatoes or just a side dish. I think that these are really fun. And I plan to make an herbed butter and mold it into a round shape to go in our cheese dome. That will be quite nice. And this pressed glass cake pedestal that is vintage is wonderful. I love the size. It will be perfect for a birthday cake. And for after dinner coffee with a cake, we have this elegant pressed glass sugar and creamer set. Love the lid on this. I'm so excited. This is my favorite item from all of the wonderful things that were in those boxes. And for tea time, this made in Czechoslovakia rose pattern two-tiered server is great for scones or cookies. And I really like the pink milk glass dish that could even be for marshmallows if you're serving hot chocolate, uh, for candies, chocolate truffles. And then of course the milk glass, pitcher, little creamer. This could be really nice even for brunch. And for the clear pressed glass items, I'm thinking springtime. The egg dish inspires me for the deviled eggs. And then this is a multi-purpose item. You could do just about anything for that. And I really like the candy dish that doubles as a compote and fits quite nicely on top of this platter. So these are just some of my favorite items. And again, this was all new to me when I opened it up. I didn't know what to expect. And I thank my friend for blessing me with these beautiful pieces. Thanks for joining Lady Mary Bath. Elevate your everyday with vintage items.